Hello YouTube. Hello. I'm Andy and this is my wife Claire. And welcome to this week's episode of Van Talk that doesn't take place in the van. And I'm in it. Well, yeah, because anybody that watched the last one will know that Claire got locked up for cannonballing in the swimming pool. But anyway, we posted bail and she's out now. You're going to not do that again, are you? I'm chlorine free. <laughs> All right, so thank you so much for submitting your questions. We're going to try and answer some of these questions in this episode. Yeah. So the first question is, how did St. Christopher of Atlantis get its name? So for those of you that don't know, St. Christopher of Atlantis is the name of our channel, but it's also the name of our van. So it's a two-part answer, really, because there were two reasons for it. So maybe, Claire, you can explain why St. Christopher. So the St. Christopher is is me, really. As a child, I moved around quite a lot. I had lots of different houses, and once somebody gave me a St. Christopher um, necklace, a charm, and... St. Christopher is the patron saint of safe travel. Yeah, and we want to be safe. We want to be safe. So that was one half of it. And then the second half of it comes from the fact that St. Christopher is a white van. I went to Cape Canaveral in Florida and I got to see the spaceship Atlantis and it were all beaten up because it's been on its travels. And uh, I thought St. Christopher looked like spaceship of Atlantis, so that's where it was called, St. Christopher of Atlantis. That's where we get the name from. It's not stupid, it makes total sense. Uh, how did I meet Claire? Well, it was probably about five and a half years ago and uh, my phone had died and I was trying to get somewhere and I couldn't find um, where I needed to be and I couldn't get sat nav or anything else but as I was driving along there was this uh, person dressed up as like a teddy bear at the side of the road that said that they, were, they had a sale on for sofas uh, and I pulled over and I asked for directions this person was kind enough to tell me where I needed to go um, it turned out that that was Claire she was just a bit of a side hustle for it um, and uh, yeah and from then on we kind of hit it off all right next question what would be your dream trip in St. Chris? Well, we're going to drive to Spain, mm. aren't we? Yeah. We also talked about driving up north, so going to France and north and going all the way to um, Latvia. Mine would be Mars. You can't go to Mars in St. Chris. I got to Lake Como. Do you know what else I'd quite like to do? We watch a, another YouTuber who have just driven from Argentina to Canada. Oh, Pan American Highway. Very if impressed. If you want to have a look at something, then that's it's uh, overlanding Sofia. Yeah. Really good to watch. We've driven it all that way. I'd like to do that, but we work. We don't live in our van full time. We can't really do that. However, never say never. Tell you what I'd like to do, Argentina to South Africa. You struggle there. You're doing that on your own. You've got no ambition, Claire. Andrew, you can't swim. <laughs> so the next question is, what does Pablo think to van life? So we'll ask him, Pablos, Pablo, Pablo, what do you think to the van? What's that? Yeah. Really? He says he's not sure, but somebody's stuck down the well. <laughs> oh, what a lovely shot. <laughs> We've got a new camera. We're in 4K. I don't know about 4K, but you can see Pab is a special K. <laughs> Turn him round. There's such a handsome that way. face. That's it. Look how handsome he is. Look at this handsome boy. So, Pablo, what do you think to van life? As I've said before, you're a man of few words. You like it? He's a good boy. Say hi to everybody. Good boy. Good boy. Next question. So what inspired you to join van life? We have to say, we don't live in the van. My but, answer to that yeah. is it was Andrew's idea. I'd never even thought about it. Never crossed my mind ever. Um, I like comforts. We all know this. Andrew doesn't need comforts, do you? That's why I married you. <laughs> <laughs> Well, this is kind of where it came from. I had a, a car, a 
it's quite a nice car. Kind of like traded up to yep. a, a car that I really wanted. And then got this problem. And because of the shortage of these parts that you can get, I couldn't get it fixed. And I couldn't run it because it's going to make it worse. So I, I just thought, I'm done. I want a change. I don't know where else to, to go with my cars. Because anything that I really, really wanted after this one, I couldn't really afford. You know, yep. Like, you know, Batmobile, stuff like that. Mm. I like that. Jukes of Azure. Well, van. Well, I, I decided I was just going to get a van and convert it. And we did. And it all spanned from there, really. It was very random, mm. wasn't it? Mm. But getting the van, you were going to do it up and sell it. You weren't going to go out in it. Mm. And then I realised that maybe I didn't have the skill set to build a van to sell it. So we'll just use it. How did we decide on the van and its customisation? That was your idea. No, it was not. It was. No, it was not. I just turned up at the end when you'd done all the work. No, but we decided, did we want a fixed bed? Did we want to make a bed up? You know. And I we, didn't want you to... decided that. <laughs> but I... <laughs> well, I didn't want to make a bed up. I wouldn't change it. It's it's great for us, isn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it is. I mean, it works for us. We wouldn't want to be making a bed up, to be fair. We love the van. It suits us really well. We've got coffee. We've got the really comfortable bed. We don't actually need anything else, do we? It is comfortable. Yeah, it's really comfy. And it's now that we're into summer, we bought an awning. Yeah. Wait till you see the awning. I'm just trying to think. Yeah, you won't have seen the no, awning. It's... That's coming up. Mm. So that was an interesting episode. So, pretty quick spoiler on the awning. How long did the instructions say it would take to put up? Eight minutes. Oh, and how long did it take? Well, Let's just clarify that. It's eight minutes to man or to person. Well, it was one person while the other person just wandered around. <laughs> yes, I did it all myself. <laughs> and then at the end, you told me that I needed to be more organized. Let's move on. It took a long time. What are some of the biggest challenges that you faced while living in the van? What's the biggest challenge that you faced, Claire? There's no toilet. Biggie. Toilet tissue. It's a biggie for a girl. Mm. I'm allowed to say that. Yeah. Why it's not? a biggie. It's a biggie. I've got a she wee, but it's, it's very. It's not ideal. It's not a she wee. It's a she won't. <laughs> yeah, definitely the toilet for me. What about you? Mine's a toilet. What's yours? Mine would be trying to get pegs into hard ground, but we bought some new pegs. So that, that'll be coming up in an episode. New pegs. Now that's a barrel of laughs, isn't it? Hard standing pegs. What has been your most memorable experience on the road? Claire, what's yours? Getting out at van. <laughs> uh, how did you know that? Uh, no. Uh, mine is, I've got quite a few things. and more. Mine are more about memories, so if that answers the question. I'm not really sure. The Channel Tunnel is a feat of engineering. In the van, the fact that we got, went in the van and didn't get out of the van. We went into the country. That was really good. Mm. Is that an example of? Yeah. Mm. Uh, I think probably mine would be just the fact that we drove to Lake Como and yeah. the van that sat outside now has been that far. But then when I look at it now, I think it's not far enough. I want to go further. How many Barnsley vans have been to Lake Como? Probably. A lot. Less than five. No, a lot. Wherever you go in the world, there's always somebody from Barnsley. We didn't see anybody from Barnsley at Lake Como. Well, apart from Lake Como. <laughs> but it's a genuine question. Mm. How many Barnsley vans have been to Lake Como? Let it's not know. a lot. Who's been? If you've got a van, have you been to Lake Como? If so, where did you stay? All right then, I think that sums up this week's Van Talk. So we're gonna try and do this regularly. So thanks for watching. Our regular programming will resume at the weekend, but hopefully this gives you a little bit of an insight. Please keep asking your questions so that we can get to know you and you can get to know us. But for this week, thank you very much for watching and we'll see you next time. Bye-bye.